it, was gonna, it wasn't going to take us another year to come back, so here we are. Um, it's me again, Titi Day, and my mom, Mimi. Um, I'm sure you noticed our lovely Mimi's Kitchen uh, aprons that we had made. And as you can see, they're like super duper clean because we don't use them to cook that. It's only for the video, specially <laughs> saved for you. Um, today, we're going to make greens. Uh, and the wine that my mom has picked is kale. I personally like to cook collard greens when I make greens, but uh, she's chosen kale, uh, and she's gonna explain to us why she picked kale, but uh, let's get started with the ingredients. So we have two onions chopped and uh, three green onions also chopped. That's what you're looking at here. We have half a cup of uh, crushed tomatoes. Again, you can also use fresh fresh chopped tomatoes instead of this. Yeah, that's always better. Yeah, it, it's all, yeah. It, for greens, she's saying it, it always tastes better. Yeah. But uh, it, if you use this, it won't it won't be any less tasty, but it's always better to use fresh ingredients. Uh, we have salt, about a teaspoon. We have pepper, also. No, no, that's what is that? Pepper. Oh, well, it's so pepper. much for this chef. It's it's kwararima, which is cardamom, and we have garlic, minced garlic, and parsley. Is there no, parsley? No. no parsley, just just garlic. Okay, and we have, what's that, midmita? Midmita, cayenne pepper. Oh. Well, it's kind of the big brother of cayenne pepper because yeah. it's a whole lot hotter than cayenne pepper. But it's really just enough for flavor and not so much uh, um, to really have an effect it's because it's very, very hot. Uh, and then we have three, four cup of um, corn oil. Again, you can use vegetable oil or canola oil instead of this. And we have, we bought two bags, the two bags of kale. Um, it, 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 was, it looked like it was already cut in pieces like this. Yeah. And um, it looks like it was made to, because I've had kale salad before, so it looked like it was ready for that. But is there a frozen kale? Yeah, I have some rice. Okay. okay. Um, we have, I have, when I use color greens, I just use the one, the great value one from Walmart, and I normally use about three bags. Um, but then this one, it looks like a whole lot more when it's not frozen. But as you know, once it's cooked, it's going to reduce the size dramatically. Okay, now I'm going to put the oil. Garlic is actually about two tablespoons in here. I know it's a lot of garlic, but it's mostly what's uh, what helps the taste. See why you think so. Um, how about you can substitute that for ginger garlic paste in this one too? Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. But I like to use fresh garlic. Okay. I, um, I use ginger garlic paste. I say that in every video. It seems like that. That's just a thought on my face. And I'll put the salt on the way. You can so put it. Cook, cook the onion pasta. This time we're gonna cook the onions till it's creamy, right? Yeah. Okay. So this time we're gonna use the onion till it's creamy here. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to change the color to brown. Uh, but if that happens, the heat um, we use it, it's um, let's see, less than, it's between medium and high. But no, if you have a number on the. On, okay. If you have a, a on, on your stove, it has a, a number, like it's on number eight. And yeah, it has the tiny 
the highest number we have. And so we are using this on eight. So as you saw, the, the onions, the green onions, the salt, the garlic, and now the tomato go in back to back and cook together. I, there's, you know what, this, the one smell in this world that will never get old to me is garlic being cooked in oil. It's just, it's so delicious just by itself. That was the most tempting to serve. I am a fabulous cook by the way. Okay, we cook it for a little bit, maybe about five minutes. It's just for oil and then we put some water. This is how you know we're not in Hollywood when the phone rings in the background. Okay, so we've been cooking this for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes I'd say. And you have to just, you know, keep using a drop of water so it doesn't uh, get stuck to the pot or burn. Um, so it's all very creamy and you really can't even tell that it's onions anymore because it's so mushy and well blended. So uh, we're going to add two cups of water now and it's almost time to put in the kale. And uh, the, it, the pot obviously is going to be super full in the beginning but uh, because it cooks down it's gonna. I'm going to put the. Oh, she's gonna put the mitmita? Yeah. Yeah. The mitmita, the, 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 coriander. the coriander. The mitmita, as I told you earlier, it, my mom said it's cayenne pepper. I mean, you can use cayenne pepper, but it's. This one is. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not. It's I spice it different. It's originally cayenne pepper, but spicy. It's a lot spicier than, than cayenne pepper. Like I can't stand how hot it is. Okay. That's that if, if you want an example. So you if you use the cut kale, you have to wash it and rinse it out properly because it always have some sand. Uh, yeah, so it has to be well washed. Even if it says washed in the bag, go ahead and give it another wash again. Uh, we just used, we just soaked it in cold water and uh, we just drained it afterwards. Uh, when I use the, uh, the frozen uh, collard green, it, it doesn't take as much water initially because, you know, the ice melts and, you know, it gives it water. And it, I'm sure it tastes slightly different than this as well. Now, let me tell you this. Now, when I use the frozen one, it doesn't have a strong smell. Now what's the politically correct way I can describe to you how this is going to smell once it starts cooking? Have you tried to cook, wait is it when you steam broccoli or yeah. cabbage? Yeah, it's that same really 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 strong, very unpleasant odor. Um, it, smells, it smells like gas, as my children would say. But, uh, uh, it's, it hasn't reached that level yet, but in, in a few minutes it's going to start having that less desirable aroma before we can start smelling. But you know, it's, right now all I can smell is the garlic still, the garlic and the onions. Um, so you let, we're going to put the top, the top back on there and let it steam a little bit. Are you going to mix it on the bottom or not? Okay. When it goes down. Yeah, so just, she's going to wait. And you, you normally are going to use a pot uh, bigger than what you would need because initially the volume is so high until it cooks down, you're gonna need all the space. And now from the water that we put in, in there, it's going to steam it. And we're gonna keep the temperature at the same level on number eight mm -hmm. as, as we've had it. But you kind of have to watch it because uh, it could potentially stick the, to the bottom and we definitely don't want that to happen. So just stay attentive and wait and um, it might take it another 10-15 minutes. Yeah, then it will be and ready. It will be done in 10-15 minutes. Uh, as I said, you know, always we put uh, halkin or pepper, but uh, in this case 
if you don't want jalapeno some of sometimes the jalapeno when it cooks it gives it stronger spicier taste so i prefer for you to use crushed pepper the cayenne pepper uh, doesn't give strong spicy taste because i put a, just a little bit for flavor so you if you need to use uh, you can use jalapeno pepper or crushed pepper. You know, I want to give you an alternate. There was a, another fun, the way Fanti makes it. Um, when she makes greens, she will use the same setup that we have sans the tomatoes, I guess, without, without the tomatoes. It will be sauteed onions with uh, ginger garlic paste, uh, and then she puts in the greens and she cooks um, the fresh cut, whether it's uh, collard greens or kale or what's another one? There's one more. Yeah, turnip. Turnip. Uh, mustard. Greens, yeah, greens. mustard greens. Yeah, there's so many different kinds. But when she, she the, the couple of times is, is that I've tasted it, it's been collard greens. She would cook it kind of the same way, but at the end she will chop up garlic and chop up jalapeno peppers, very, very finely chopped. And she will just, and, and, and a lot of it really, I'd say maybe um, four or five pieces of uh, garlic, and I'd say about two to three jalapenos chopped up and she'll put it right before she brings it out and cooks it with the garlic and jalapenos at the end for about maybe five to ten minutes before she takes it out and the taste is completely out of this world it's it's different it, i mean it's the same idea but it just yet another variation of how to cook uh, uh, collard greens or greens in general the ethiopian way yeah, so we're gonna wait for this to cook down and we'll show you the final product. Okay, so here's the final product. It smells divine and um, I am so tempted to taste it. So I'm going to... And I generally don't like when it's super hot because uh, it's not cute when it burns my tongue. Oh Lord have mercy, that's a big one. Wow. Wow, wow, wee wow. That is absolutely delicious. Uh, the salt, it was about half a teaspoon, but you can always cook to your taste. Wow, that tastes good. Yeah. I would so eat this without a donut, like by itself. Yeah, um, you can use it as a side dish as well. Yeah, but uh, it's, it's so delicious. And that's how we make greens, and this was kale. And you know, one thing I noticed, this is really my first time uh, tasting kale in this form of it. And uh, if I had to come up with a verdict, I'd say kale would be the way to go. Because it's not completely cooked to absolute mushiness right now. Uh, and it still tastes very good. But with, with uh, co collard greens, you probably couldn't do that. And if it wasn't all the way cooked, it would have this taste that it, that's almost unbearable. But this one was really, really good. You can use butter for greens since this is a lint and it goes fast. That's why we yeah. So no butter. Yeah. Generally, yeah. It's the uh, when you make greens, when you, if it was not during lint, it could, you can add the the clarified butter that we use. Um, which you've also asked asked us how to make. Also, we'll do that some other time. But. Uh, for for this season of Lent, there would be no butter. Uh, but when you use butter, you cut off like half the oil when you saute the oil with the onion. Halfway, you cut. Uh, if I, uh, now we put three fourths of uh, a oil? cup. Okay. But it so has we to have to we have to use half the amount of oil if we're going to put butter on at top. the end. Yeah. And then when you put butter, you put it after it's fully cooked. Like yeah. right now would be yeah. the time to right put the butter in. The so um, there you have it. Okay. Thank you again for watching and keep.
uh, watching and we'll make some more videos we're not sure what we're gonna do next but we're definitely making some yummy stuff and thank you keep your comments coming and we really really appreciate you watching